Okay, so I'm uh, back with another intro template by uh, Clap Design, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to edit this template because you are gonna encounter some uh, some issues with it, small issues. So don't worry. So after you downloaded this um, zip file, right click on it, go to WinRAR, extract here, and you're gonna extract the um, the fo this folder here. Double click on the folder double click on the se second folder and make sure you install the folder first and also check the links in the description for the quicktime plugin i use for the codex and uh, stuff like that now you have to double click on the template make sure you have adobe cs uh, cs6 and above because it's not gonna work in uh, older versions i already opened my project in after effects so it's gonna look like this when you open it. Also, you're gonna have around here some uh, error message for a missing file. Don't worry because nothing is missing. Uh, it's for the sound which is in included in this one. And you're gonna get this project contains an expression error, error one by one. And uh, it's very easy to fix. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Make sure you are in the intro tab. Unlock the template composition, double click on this composition, so you open it. Scroll down to the red tool, click on it and press U, and it doesn't work. Uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to expand it, expand the transform, expand the position so you can see the, the expression for the position right here. And right here you have a a slider null object, click on it and press U so you can see the keyframes, drag the timeline to zero so you don't have any issues and right here you see um, some lines of code. Click on uh, on this, uh, this text and click and drag only from this part, oh god, from this part to this one. So this way you're gonna change only this part of the code. So after you selected you you selected this text, get the pick whip, click, hold click, and drag to the slider here. So this way, this uh, animation affects this uh, this position. After you did this, press enter or click away, so you can make the change. Close all these layers. Go to text edit. And here you have text layer that you have to double click on it, type in your name or feature line. So I'm gonna drag the timeline somewhere where I can see it. So it's right here. And now you made all the major changes and that's pretty much it that you have to do. So now onto the rendering part. After you change all the stuff in here, go to composition and add to render queue. As you can see down here, you enter the template. So click on lossless here, so you can change the format from AVI to QuickTime. Also, make sure you install the QuickTime plugin. And on the format options, make sure you have PNG and basic video settings quality at 100. Uh, audio output on auto or on, click OK. Give it a name right here. So I'm gonna name Rachel Angel by Clap Design. I uh, I suggest going in the description and checking checks his um, his stuff out because it's really good. I really like it. So I'm gonna click save, and now all you have to do is click render. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video. I hope you liked the, the intro template and uh, hopefully I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. So, bye!